the AN ARC38 is a 2 to 25 megahertz auto tune transceiver. It is a 100 watt transceiver that is similar to the earlier design 618S series, but unlike the 618S series, the ARC38 incorporates an SMO module. The SMO module allows the ARC38 to operate in any one of 35,000 possible channels in the 2 to 25 megahertz range. The transceiver consists of three major components. The first is the 180L3 or 351 automatic antenna tuner, the RT311 or ARC38 transceiver, and the C1398 slash ARC38 control head. The 180L3 is a completely automatic antenna tuner. It requires no input from the operator. Once the operator keys the transmitter, the antenna will automatically match the output of the transmitter to the load. By using variable inductance and capacitance and a power controlling auto transformer, the antenna tuner will match the output of the transmitter to the load from minimum SWR to the transmitter. The RT311 ARC38 primarily differs from the 618S in the fact that the 618S used a 140 channel crystal bank, where the ARC38 uses a stabilized master oscillator assembly. The SMO assembly provides over 35,000 channels and 500 kC steps below 14.25 MHz and 1,000 kC steps above. After a channel is entered by the control head, the SMO has a series of gears, clusters, and cams that set the SMO on channel. Once channeling is complete, the variable IF and RF deck will then tune itself and the receiver and excited will be set on channel. When the microphone is keyed, the transmitter's PA deck will automatically tune itself for maximum output in the correct amount of plate current. Every time the transmitter is keyed, the PA deck will attempt to tune itself for optimum match. On my radio, I remove the 400 cycle AC supply after the radio is tuned to prevent this hunting of the PA deck. The C1398 control head allows the operator full control of the radio. There are provisions for selecting the mode, controlling the audio and RF gain, and placing the transmitter in the standby mode for CW operation. In addition to this, the control allows the operator manually enter a channel on the radio or select any one of 20 preset channels. Channels are entered using the book stored in the base of the control head and the four selectors on the front of the head. To enter any of the 20 preset channels, there is a drum that is programmed by positioning pins located just under the flap that conceals the drum and the programming book. This transceiver represents about one year's work. It is the next step after the completion of my 618S1. Although this is not complete in every detail, it is a functioning transceiver. For additional information on this project, you can look at my webpage at www.ka3ekh.net.